Sometimes you'll have tracked an event for a while, but then you realize that the name of the event doesn't totally make sense for you and you'd like to change it. You may think that you have to ask your engineers to change the event tracking code snippet, but that's actually not the case. You can change the display name of an event right here in Mixpanel. Here's how. In this project, I have an event called Viewed Video. Let's say I decided that this event name is too vague because it's unclear whether it triggers when someone starts watching a video or when they are done watching it. And I want to change the name to address that. To do this, I will come over here to the top right of the screen and click on the Data Management button and select the Lexicon option. This is where you can see a list of all your tracked events, your event properties, your profile properties, and generally all the important data points that you're capturing within your Mixpanel project. You also see a lot of important information about these data points, such as their volume, which is like how many times the event has been triggered, or the first and last time that the event was queried. Query just means that it was used in a report within Mixpanel. The important column that we care about here is this one called display name. The display name is the name that is displayed for an event or property within Mixpanel. So if I want to change how the event looks in Mixpanel, I just have to set the display name within this column. So I'm going to find the viewed video event over here, and I'll come over to the display name column right in front of viewed video, and I'm going to change the name to video completed to make it clear that this event triggers when the video is completed and not just when the user presses play on that video. So now if I go back to my insights report, I can search for viewed video and you actually won't see it, but it will bring up this video completed, which is the new name. So this is what you'll find now. The name has been changed and over here, there is a little thing here that says it was tracked as viewed video and we changed the name to video completed. So you can search for it by both names, but it shows up as the new display name. And if you want to change that again, simply go back to Lexicon and you can find your event again and either remove this or give it a new name. And you can do the exact same thing with your event properties or profile properties. So I have a bunch of properties here. Like here, I have one that's called user email. I can take this and I can call it user email. And then the display name going forward is just going to be user email, but with a different casing, like what you saw over here. But you have to keep in mind one really important thing. All of the data points that come into Mixpanel come from code snippets that are inserted into the product. In this scenario, the code that we had inserted into the product is triggering the event as viewed video. It's only the display name that has changed. Ultimately, the best move is to change this in the code as well so that you don't have a discrepancy between what's in Mixpanel versus what's in the code. But if you do that, then you'll end up with two different events. Up until when you change the code, you would have viewed video, and after that, you'd have video completed. But no need to worry because I'm going to show you how to address that issue too. If you end up changing the name of an event in the code, then you want to use the lexicon to merge the two events with one another. So let's say I have my two events. One is viewed video, and then I have a less, uh, another one up here, event called lesson completed. Let's say these are the two events that I want to merge with one another. This is the new name of the event because we changed the event name in the code, and this is the old name. All I do is I check the two boxes, and you'll notice as soon as I check the second box, I see a little option here that says merge. If I hit merge, it'll show me this modal over here that allows me to confirm. It says, okay, these are the two events. Do you want to merge them? It does tell you that, yeah, you can unmerge them whenever you want. And it just says, okay, pick the name of the merged event. And I can say, you know what? Lesson completed is the name that I want. And just click merge. And now those two events have been successfully merged and I can go make a report. And if I pick this lesson completed name, it's going to include both the previous viewed video event and the new lesson completed event. So you won't see any data discontinuation there. And you can do the exact same thing for your event properties. Unfortunately, right now, the merging option within the UI is not possible for profile properties. Just at the moment, 
Um, you see the button does not show up here, but you can do it via the API. The Mixpanel team knows about this and hopefully they will fix it by the time that you have viewed this. And the only thing to keep in mind is that if you pick a couple of events and you don't see the merge option over here, it's because you don't have the right permissions in the project. Only project owners currently can merge to events. So just, you know, look within the project settings and, and contact someone who's a project owner or just have somebody change your permissions level because those are the only people that can merge and only admins and owners can give the new display names. So that's that. Now you know how to change your event and property names, merge them together, and generally keep your data clean. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out some of the other Mixpanel and product analytics tutorials on this channel, or if you really want to up your game, go to our website where we offer the ultimate products analytics course, which helps any product manager become a product analytics expert. Thanks for tuning in. See you at our next video.